Hey, y'all. Thank you for coming back to the channel, Deb Chanel's 48th World, giving y'all Girls Cruise Season 1, Episode 4. Rock the Boat is what they named it. I'm like, honey, how about crash the waves into the iceberg? Because everybody's sinking on this ship besides Pretty V, B. Simone, Lil' Kim, and Charlie and Tiffany. The latter two, which is Maya and Chili, they need therapy. They need to go see Charlie's therapist. Just shrink. I'm for real. Oh, let's get on into it because I tell you, one of them don't like getting old, and the other one is insecure that she has to be nasty to every female that she feels is in competition with her. Okay, let's go on and start it off. We got Romy Rome, the cruise director, is waking up the girls and wishing Chili a happy birthday. Like, yes, this is her day. And she's looking, and her facial expressions is just like, Lord, take me now. I'm just so old. I can't deal with life anymore. I can't believe I'm not 25 or 20. 19 when everything was just so glorious you know she was showing her figure showing her little slinky outfits and stuff like that and now she just dressing like something done Ooh, child you should see the uh dress she wore for her birthday dinner i was like uh-uh that's just too much chili you don't put yourself out the pasture or acting like you on a um what do you call me a amish form or something or a Mormon. I don't know what you got going on, girl, but it's not cute. And Maya is just trying to show you up every chance she get. Okay, really everybody on, on the boat. Okay, she might be trying to knock at Lil' Kim's door, but Lil' Kim still be pulling out apparel after apparel after apparel, slamming and shading the crap out of them, because she gonna have in her little bikini, she be toting around her little designer name handbag okay i ain't got nothing but love for kim because she be showing up and showing out okay then we move on to tron tron's chili son if you don't know he watching the episode because she know she had that brother on speed dial like he her man or something i'm like chili inappropriate so very inappropriate talking to your son like you ain't got no best girlfriend here you should be calling t boss why like, y'all not good friends no more? What's up with that? Or hell, where your mama at? Call, talk to her. Every time you calling this grown-ass man, telling all your woes, and, and, and just, it's, it's just inappropriate. That's all I'm going to say. But anyway, he wishes his mama happy birthday, telling her to turn up, do her thing. It's her day. And, of course, she's wishing she was back with him. And he was saying, Mom, don't worry about it. I got you. When you come back, me and you going to go have a nice dinner. She said, oh, yeah, that's so nice. That's like, that's romantic. I'm like, girl, you, you, no man is supposed to be telling you that. But I, I forgot. You don't have a man because you have this idea of this perfect man and this, that, and the third and how he's supposed to be, how he's supposed to look what kind of bank account he's supposed to have. And you're going to be lonely, honey. You're going to be like a little nun forever and for always. But moving on from there. Then we got Kim is having a little chit-chat with Charlie. They sitting out, taking out his fake hair. And honey, I'm thinking that's his long, pretty hair because he has natural, uh, good-looking hair. You know, no real tight curls or naps, how we like to say it. So I don't know what that was about, him putting fake hair in his hair. But anyway, it is what it is. But they're having a little chit-chat talk. You know, I like how Kim individually spends time with her friends and see what's going on with them, how they like the trip. Do they want to divulge any personal secrets on camera <laughs> for the world to see? Like, Kim, you can't be all personal and stuff when the camera's rolling. You know, ain't nobody going to give me no true tea. Are you kidding me, girl? Please go on about your business. But anyway, they keep it up and stuff. And you can tell they have a really solid friendship. And they go on to talk about how B. Simone is just so pleasant to be around. And, and um, they talk about Chili, you know, here and there. about she's opening up and this, that, third. And Charlie's just really happy to have Kim in his life. He said, I don't need my therapist while I got you, girl. I don't have to FaceTime him because I got you. I said, Charlie, call, call him, honey. Call him. Because Kim just there for a temporary head spin, okay? Just to get her money, her coins. And she's introducing y'all to a life that I guess you're 
you are privy to because you have a little sensational life going around there. But I know it's not as hot as Kim, but it is what it is. You're a part of her clique from day one to the probably day she take her last breath. So you go on with your relationship. It's cute. Then we got B. Simone. She goes to see Dreads, who happen to have a name of Raheem. She shortened it up and said she wants to still call him Dreads, but everybody calls him Ra. And he makes her a little drink, call it the baby girl. Uh, he's wanting to uh, take her out. He's saying, why don't we go uh, jet skiing? She's like, okay, I guess so. I don't know. Then she goes to ask him about his zodiac sign, which I don't know why that's a, a, a topic of conversation or why would you really want to know. But I guess she's in that astrology stuff. And he says, oh, I'm a Capricorn. She said, oh, you're a liar. <laughs> I can confirm that Capricorns, the majority, well, I ain't going to say the majority because I only met one and he wasn't nothing but a straight up liar. Okay. Couldn't get the truth out that brother to save my life or his life. All right. He just was like that. I'm like, I don't know why you have to lie to a person, you know, even if they're trying to get close to you or not trying to get close to you. Just tell the truth and you have to make up what lie was what. You know, but mm -mm. I only met one Capricorn. She said she met two. They both were liars and horrible. I only met one and he was uh, a liar. But anyway, moving on, moving on. So we got Chili. She visits Myra Rome. She's talking about her, about her birthday. And Chili says, she, you know, when she hit 25, everything just started going down here. She didn't want to get old no more. Then she just started adding no five years. The damn, I'm five years, I'll be 30. After five more years, I'll be 35. And, you know, just going on and on. I'm like, uh, Chili, you should be blessed to even be able to wake up uh, the next morning. And Maya didn't make it no good. She's trying to give her a half shaded, nice, nasty compliment. So, honey, I want to look like you when I get your age. I'm like, ain't y'all both in the same realm? I'm like, damn, you think you like 10, 12 years younger than um, Chili. But I was like, okay, that's just her vein is showing out. Maya is so vain and stuck on her looks and her person, um, where her personality just stinks. I'm like, to high heaven, okay. I don't know where she get this privileged, self, uh, serving, indulgent attitude of hers. This is really weighing thin on me. Why well, might not even cover her? Because of her, how she acts. And it just gets on my nerves. You know what I'm saying? God made you so beautiful on the outside. So talented with giving you a talent as far as being able to sing. And people appreciate it. But how you act that high, high and mighty. Girl, you're looking just so ugly to me. So filthy. Ugly to me. Inside and out. But anyway, I'm not impressed. We're going to move on. And then Chili goes on to spill her little tea about rum. Rome and Rome and how, you know, he tried to do this, you know, and impressing her and stuff like that. But she said, I'm just really not interested. We're going to be friends. I said, Chili, you so wrong. You still let that man on. You think it's in his way. He still has it that you are keeping the door open for something. And you, um, you know, on live TV pretty much. And you telling Maya. Oh, he's not for me. I don't want to see He might be perfectly for you, but you're overlooking him because he's over there. And who's to say he wouldn't move over here to Atlanta? You know, he probably would leave the Caribbean for you and try to get a, a decent job. He seems like he's a hardworking man, but you ain't giving him half the chance. But, hey, if you aren't impressed, you calling him a screw up, okay. Moving on from you. Then we got Tiffany. T Tiffany's having a little brunch to herself. I like Tiffany. She's like, oh, I'm on this boat with these women. I ain't too much caring about neither one of them. Uh, well, two of them I ain't really caring about. It just is what it is. I'm just him with Charlie and, um, what do you call it? Lil' Kim. And I get along with B. Simone and Pretty V. But the mother, too, I don't know. And especially Maya. Oh, my God. And then Maya just sashays her behind up there. Trying to look all cute in her bikini. Only for the cameras. You know what I'm saying? She pick and chooses her wardrobes. She goes in. Still acting like a bitch to me. You know. And if you watch the uh, session or episode. You'll come probably to the same conclusion. I've come to. Like. Honey. Her nose is so far up in the air. She wouldn't even recognize the Lord if he came by. Now that's sad. And that is so sad. But anyway. 
that's why I, I guess we don't see too much of her because of her attitude. She might be hard to work with in the industry and nobody want to be bothered with her. It's not like she's an actress. I haven't heard or, or seen any uh, tours or concerts she's on or any new albums coming out. So I'm like, she really needs to just sit down somewhere. Truly sit down. But anyway, she's talking to um, Tiffany and trying to throw shade here and there. Talking about, oh yeah, I gotta, I've been having too many carbs. I'm gonna have to watch my carbs, you know, because they just add too much. I'm gonna have to have some juice. We're gonna do a, do a juicer or something. And you know, she, um, Tiffany got fruit and everything up there. She probably had an omelet before Maya came, you know what I'm saying? She disturbing her peace of mind, her space. And then she coming in with all this foolishness. Talking about, well, how, how do you act when you're around Kim's friends? And she's like looking at her like, Kim, friends are my friends. What are you talking about? Kim's success is my success. You know, she like, Kim is a, a, a very wonderful person. And she treats you like you're queen for the day when you're around her. And it doesn't matter. She's around Mary J. Blige, MC Light, Queen Latifah. It doesn't matter. She still treat me like I'm royalty. Okay? I'm on the same level as you know, they are. And she's like, oh, okay, well, how, how do Kim feel around your friend? You know, just I, acting all nasty. And I saw I saw Tiffany's attitude. It's like she wanted to just haul back and slap the shit out of my eye. Because I, you know, well, you know, I don't want to catch no assault charge. And I understand Tiffany about holding back. But it was just totally disgust she had on her face for Maya. And then she just tried to play it off and, you know, saying, well, you know, you know, you know, we're equal. We're equal. I know Kim has her success in this, that, third, but I have my success separate from Kim. I ain't trying to clout chase. I ain't trying to, you know, uh, ride Kim's coattail to build myself up. Hell, I got high self-esteem about myself. I'm who I am and I love it, okay? So she kind of put Maya in her place, but you might Maya was just looking like she's some socialite out there and, and she get to ch pick and choose who come through the door and who don't. Oh, she got on my nerves again, once again. But anyway, cute scene. Tiffany handles it like a pro, okay? And anyway, we move on off of there. And, you know, my goes, well, let me just stay on mine for a few seconds. She goes and tell Tiffany, you know, all this little sad story about she can't trust other women. Women in the industry are totally different from just regular women. I'm like, Maya, you regular too. You pretty much simple. You simple minded, okay? That's why you will never get nowhere in the industry. And you're going to grow old by yourself along with Chili. Y'all going to be too with uh we call the spinsters and that's as you what it is because y'all mind is not right i mean growing old gracefully because both of y'all definitely look good for your ages done kept your body up well you know well preserved but your mind has aged your mind is ancient it's antique thinking you know you're doing and that's why you probably won't have nobody okay if you get somebody they're gonna use the hell out you and chili because y'all just not worthy you know what i'm saying and then chili over there playing a role like she's some spinster or some nun and dressing like such and i'm like girl be true to yourself and the lord will bless you in time you know what i'm saying you ain't got a faith for nobody you ain't got a faith like you pure you delicate no you already been spoiled honey you don't have baby you know you can't wear white you gotta wear that off white or better yet a color fancy dress how about that just stay away from the white because you're not a virgin but you know i don't know i guess um chili thinks she can go back in the wound and be rebirthed again but you can't do that chili you can't you just gotta live life where you at be happy with yourself and continue to gracefully accept age because it's coming okay babe just be glad you don't look toe up from the floor and you know you're just overweight and you you know because i don't think you can handle that i really don't i think you'll just put yourself in the same asylum if your body wasn't right and your face wasn't right you're too vain you and my just too vain 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 and even vanity is a sin so chilly i don't know i don't know girl you need to get in your word. You need to get in the scripture because what you're doing, mm, it's not good. It's not a good look, you know. Be happy within yourself and then it just eludes happiness. But you're just giving me insecurity. You're giving me like, you're trying to be more or, or you're trying to be a role that you can't pretty much play out, okay? 
So just be yourself. Be yourself and let the Lord find your husband. Don't go out there telling people, oh, I don't want a husband. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want him to look this way, that way. No, that's where you get in trouble. And that's pretty much why you ain't got nobody yet. But anyway, let the Lord do his work. Don't don't interrupt anything. And then your man will be waiting around the corner. Okay. But moving on from that situation, um, the ladies and gentlemen, get it ready. Uh, cause Roman got on the the uh, ones and twos <laughs> broadcasting to the ship of passengers, and you know what, y'all? When I had saw that, um, uh, when it was filming at night, it looked like and it could have been the camera crews and all of that. But I think they sharing that boat with other occupants. You know, they just not they only taking like half of the boat and and just filming. Uh, girls cruise trip with Lil Kim and her friends, and I think the other section of the boat they really got paying customers there. You talking about a three hundred million dollar yacht or a thousand dollar yacht, and you just got those set of people on there, and you just going through the Caribbean? I, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> But anyway, this is my theory. That's just my theory. And pay attention because they got a episode five coming next week, I believe. So what I thought was a three part episode of her of season one, they really giving us a little bit more. Maybe because everybody's gravitating to watching the show and getting good feedback on it. And maybe they probably tape maybe ten episodes. Um, but they just wanted to test it out. So they're giving us a little bit more. So episode five will be coming next week. I just thought I'd throw that out to you. But y'all look at the boat when it's being at night, when they give us the commercials. You're going to see a lot of lights around. And I know all them damn lights ain't up there just for them. And they just occupying that big ass yacht. I just, that's my theory. That's my conspiracy theory going around. Y'all see, y'all check it out. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. But anyway, they get ready for the dinner. And everybody's looking pretty. The, the the main piece de resistance, you know, the genesis wow. The Miss Chili, the person that's being honored. Lord, she come in there like, I ain't gonna say it was her son the best. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause them mothers of the church and, and the ushers be looking doggone good when they having their winter and the fall, you know, when they be in the women, that's the same thing. When they be in the summer, they dress in white. When they be in the fall and winter, they dress in black. You know, the choir and the ushers and, and, and what we call the motherboard and stuff like that. Child, please. Motherboard was kicking uh, chili behind because I don't know where she came from. She came like a schoolgirl, maybe in junior high, you know, going to church on Sunday, that kind of dress. You know, one wasn't nothing fancy about it, just plain Jane. I'm like, good Lord, chili. Who, who you want to... I don't know what kind. Of, I just don't understand. I don't understand. Because you could still look a little flamboyant, you know, flamboyant on your birthday and not show cleavage and all that if that's what you were trying to hide. But I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's just like your dress you would wear when you, what, 12, 13, 14 years old and you're going to church. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with you. The only thing I, I got to say, y'all need to just look at it. Look, look at this season. See what's going on. And um, hey, I think it's saying 